Children with autism are often known to have limited interests, which means trying to teach them to learn new skills can be quite a challenge if it isn't related to a theme that they are interested in. Now, whether the goal is trying to change their disruptive behaviors or trying to teach them how to communicate, play, or be social, the first thing we need to do is to make sure the student is ready to learn. That starts with ensuring that they are motivated. When it comes to effective autism treatment, we use reinforcement to motivate children who are on the spectrum. Reinforcement can come in various forms such as toys, arts and crafts, construction activities, music and outings. It doesn't just have to be food or the iPad. Sometimes there is a reluctance to use reinforcement because it is often mistaken with bribery. The reality is that all of us operate on reinforcement. We don't go to work unless we get paid a salary at the end of the month. That salary is our reinforcement. Now since every child with autism is different, we first need to identify what it is that motivates them. The reinforcement for one child can be very different from the other. The first steps of any good autism treatment would involve identifying what it is that the child likes, how can we expand on these interests, and how we can use this information to develop the optimal behavior or lesson plan for our students. In this workshop, parents will learn more about the various types of reinforcement categories, how to identify reinforcement individualized to their child, and how to continue the process to develop reinforcement that is age-appropriate and socially driven. So join us in this workshop to learn more about motivating a child with autism. See you there!